I'm here in LA visiting a couple of my friends, and since it's during a work week, I thought I'd show you a day in my life in LA as a data analyst. Since I'm in the West Coast time zone and it's three hours behind, I start my usual 9 a.m. meeting at 6 a.m. The meeting is a stand-up meeting which is mainly utilized in an agile framework. I'll explain more in depth in a bit. Every morning, all of us share what we're working on and what the next steps are to complete a task. Also, we share if there are any roadblocks that our teammates could resolve. For example, if I need to escalate a problem that I'm facing, I would share that in this meeting so that someone could solve it for me. As I said before, my team utilizes the Agile Working Methodology, which is a popular project management framework adopted by a lot of tech companies and is different from your traditional waterfall framework. And the waterfall methodology it usually follows a linear path of project management with goals and objectives clearly stated from the beginning. The expectations and deliverables of each stage are clear and as a result doesn't allow flexibility and changes throughout the course of the project. In contrast, the Agile methodology follows a more fluid approach to project management, which welcomes incorporating changes to the goals and objectives stated originally. It also accounts for the business stakeholders' feedback throughout the process. To make room for all these changes, a team will work in short-term iterations, also known as sprints, that usually last for only a couple weeks. In this way, projects can be efficiently completed with any additional requirements listed by the business stakeholders. I have another meeting after my daily stand-up to go over a report that has data streaming issues. Usually with data streaming issues, we have discussions with data engineers, and their responsibility is to develop systems that collect, manage, and convert raw data into usable information for data scientists and data analysts. Usually when there is a data streaming problem, there is a discrepancy in the numbers between different data streams. Then, it's the data engineer's job to figure out why the discrepancy is happening so that the data streams can be usable for the data analysts to utilize in their dashboard development. After I finish my meeting, I take a walk to a nearby cafe to pick up some coffee. Even though it's January in LA, the weather is nice enough to take a short walk. So I just got back from the cafe, got my coffee, and my friend who I'm staying with just woke up, so he took the standing desk. But his apartment has these nice office spaces and nice amenities. It has a lot of space, tables, couches, just a space where I can work at for these next couple of hours. I still have a little bit of work to do and just tying some loose ends before I get ready for the weekend since today is Friday. I really appreciate that my company emphasizes internal development and every year they recommend that every employee completes at least two trainings. It is one of my goals to become a data scientist, so in my downtime I've been learning some of the main concepts of data science such as a simple regression model. I'm on my way to the gym right now. My friend has a gym in his apartment complex, so until he finishes work, because he's on West Coast time, on our, I'm on East Coast time. So it's around one o'clock, finished work. Love how I just have this abundant amount of time. So yeah, gonna get a quick lift in.
After my workout, I meet up with my friends to play poker before dinner. After graduating college, I struggle quite a bit to make the most out of the time after work. I miss the college experience of having your friends right next to you wherever it was. Class, dinner, or going to the gym. I still reminisce my time at college from time to time, but it's ironic how even though you see your friends less and less, it makes times like this so much sweeter. For the rest of the evening, I get dinner with my friends. A couple of them I haven't seen them in a while, it was nice to reconnect. I don't know if it's just me, but I find it so crazy to catch up on all the time with an old friend, whether it's sharing new job promotions, life events, or other crazy things that happened, but at the same time realizing we're still the same at the core.